Howdy friends! Today we have a very exciting episode. We're gonna visit Borobudur, world's largest Buddhist temple. It was built in the 8th century AD, but then was abandoned in the 14th century when Indonesia became Islamic. It wasn't until 19th century that the temple was rediscovered and since then we're able to enjoy its beautiful sights once again. So let's go and explore. All right, guys. So what you can hear on the background is the uh, the traditional Javanese music. It's mostly bells. Sounds very enchanting. Uh, we did this special celebration in mm. every May, but it's bigger before pandemic in mm. 2019 uh. around 42,000 Buddhism came here they celebrate here and that it is all Buddhist monk Borobudur concept basis Mahayana Buddhism Mahayanic <laughs> Buddhism the Hinayana and Mahayana but according to the scientists and according to uh, Buddhism that Borobudur is universe so all sector like Tantra, Theravada, Buddhayana, Mahayana mm -hmm. because Borobudur is like textbook, Borobudur is like great open book, like a Buddhist Bible. So actually they build a temple, this uh, not for a monastery actually, because mm -hmm. never monks stay here. According to the recent monks, they stay on, on the hill, we call it Dagi. But now move to other temple, we call it Mendo Temple. And can you visit them? Like, Mendo yeah, Temple, yeah. we can visit. Okay. Yeah, Mendo Temple, we still have Buddhist monastery, still monks stay okay. there. Okay, yeah. awesome. So, Okay, during pandemic, we don't have this activity mm -hmm. for two years, but we just start last May. Mm -hmm. They bought the quota only 3,000. Mm -hmm. yeah. Only okay. 3,000. But hope next year, Hopefully next 2023, year. will be open again like normal. If mm -hmm. you know, all tourists also come. Yeah, they walk around clockwise. If we're walking around level by level, yeah. about four kilometers. Yeah. Four okay. kilometers. But actually, on the first level, we have to walk on one trip. The second level, here is second level. This is we have to walk around four times because there are four kind of stories. Mm. Buddha story life, 120 panel. If I explain you one panel, one minute, we need two hours on the Buddha story life. <laughs> and then we have another Chataka, Awala, Awadana, Gandhaviya, also Maitreya, talking about next Buddha on the level fifth. There are more than 500 Buddha statues. Totally, there are 504 Buddha statues in Borobudur Temple. Yeah, Borobudur the Temple is like this. You see from the top, the temple consists of 10 levels. Mm -hmm. They call it Dasa Bodhi Bumi, so 10 stages to get perfection. The bottom part here we call it Kama Datu. Kama Datu means wall of desire. Mm -hmm. And then second level, until level fifth year, we call it Rupa Datu. Controlling desire, fighting desire. Mm -hmm. And then on the top here we call it Arupa Datu, Arupa, formless. The people to call it Nirvana. Mm -hmm. Desire, control it. The same when you go to Hindu temple like Prabhupada, the bottom part we call it Burloka. Mm -hmm. The middle part, Buarloka. The upper part Swarloka. So that in Prambanan temple, in Swarloka have Brahma, Vishnu, Siwa, mm -hmm. Nandi, statue, Guru, mm -hmm. Ganis, and so on. Oh wow, so that's that's Burabudu right there, hey? Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, this, it's huge. Okay guys, just walking up to the to the temple itself. This is a central alley here. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Huge. It's humongous. So we say from the top, the temple is like mandala. Because ah, it is mandala. Okay. So even though the temple is Buddhist temple, but Achan architecture make Hinduism and Buddhism. Yeah, mm. I can explain you. There are two, two dynasties, Sanjay and Sailendra. Uh -huh. So that the temple uh, from the bottom until fifth level, the Hindus are mm. with old Javanese architecture. This is uh, the people say Z. This is swastika. Hmm. Swastika the symbol Hindu, the symbol peace. Mm -hmm. Germany are the sides, yeah. <laughs> yeah. different direction. So first level here, this is Kamadatu, the story telling about common life people. Uh -huh. 160 panel. When we are going up to the second level here, here we have to walk around four rounds. Because on the main wall, 120 panel telling about Buddha story life. Uh -huh. And then here, this is the Chataka story, the Awala Awadana story here, there's two panel. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, two stories. So that means four, four times. And then the upper part continuing the story from Jataka, like reincarnation of Buddha in animal life. There's animal life story, I mean, here. They say the story of Sudana. Sudana mm -hmm. is a prince. That he want to learn about Buddhism. So he have 55 teachers. The highest teacher named Manjushri. 
when he's been here, yeah, we need about yeah three, four hours, something like that, <laughs> yeah. And then the upper part, this is telling about Gandaviu. Uh, some people say like they're telling about next Buddha, but Buddha Maitreya, because mm -hmm. we doesn't believe next Buddha coming. They're waiting for Buddha Maitreya. Okay, this Kamadatu, this is Rupadatu. The upper part, this is Buddhist art, mm -hmm. mixed with Hindia Indonesia architecture, because every stupa here have Buddha with the hand wheel of life, or we call it Dharma Chakra Mudra. So we never find in other country Buddha statue inside the stupa, only here, only in Borobudur. This is, we call it Nirwana. Nirwana divided to three parts. The lower part, we call it Nirwana. There are 32 stupa with Buddha inside. Mm. And then the, up, the middle part, we call it Pari Nirwana. And mm -hmm. then the upper part, Maha Pari Nirwana. So that the whole of the stupa different. Diamond, square, and no hole. So diamond here means instability. But here, square means stability. This is no hole, mean perfection. Perfection, okay. Yeah. Kamada tu, Rupa Datu, Arupa Datu. Uh -huh. Desire, controlling desire, and then formless. I see. Nirwana. So today we're just gonna walk through desire. We desire. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. We have to, to learn to, to <laughs> control, to desire. control yeah. desire. Okay. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh yes. Four Buddha statues, five hundred and four Buddha statues. When we walking around, that we find the Buddha different mudra. They call it mudra, mean hand position. We came on the east side, so mm -hmm. all the Buddha on the east side, second level until fifth with this hand position. Left hand always here. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is we call it bumi sparsa mudra, touching the earth as witness, the bumi touching the bumi. And then Buddha on the short side, same second level until fifth with the hand like this, we call it Vara Mudra. That means giving charity or blessing. And then Buddha on the west side with the hand is uh, like this. Can find here? Dhyana <laughs> Mudra means meditation. And then Buddha on the north side with the hand like this. This mm -hmm. is we call it Abahaya Mudra. Abahaya. No fear of danger. And then Buddha statue on the level six. One level facing to all direction, east, south, west, not with the hand like this. Here. Mm. We tarka. We tarka mudra mean giving instruction or teaching. Mm. The last Buddha that inside the bell, inside the stupa, with the hand like this. 72 Buddha statue inside the stupa with the hand like this. Dharma Chakra Mudra, turning the wheel of life. Some you find like this. Mm. But the skin? Turning the wheel of life, a reincarnation. Yeah. So first, on the east witness. Second, the sort charity. On the west meditation. On the north, no fear. On the level six, facing all direction teaching. And then the last inside the stupa, circle of life. We have the stupa. Stupa like this is like bell. But the small stupa, they call it stupika. Yeah. This is like bell. Mm -hmm. Stupika totally there are one thousand four hundred. And then 72 with Buddha, and then plus one the means stupa, so that means 1473. Ah. Yeah. So that the hole in the stupa is like the, the whole, whole diamond. Have room and whole diamond. And is there anything special about the number of stupas? Oh, yes. This yeah. is all numbers, number nine. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, number After nine, no more number. Uh -huh. After nine, that means ten. Uh -huh. That means everybody back to the beginning. Ten, one plus zero. One plus zero is one, so they're one on the top. Uh, so then everybody back to the beginning. I see. So I all see. number, number, like 72 is too far. Uh -huh. 72 mean 9. Okay. 7 plus 2, like wow. five zero four. Interesting. So also the temple actually not 10 level, 9 level. Uh -huh. 9, 9 plus 1. Oh, plus okay. 1 is the main stupa. The main stupa. Become 10. Gotcha. Like the Buddha say 504 plus 1. Plus 1. Oh, so this is about... about this is a tree under which he, yeah. Buddha had revelation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So the Buddha, Siddhartha Gautama meditation under the body tree, he got enlightenment. Wow. So Buddha is actually not the name of the person. Buddha who someone got body. Mm -hmm. Body means enlightenment. So actually Buddha like way of five. Buddha the code of morality. Buddha is philosophy. Uh-huh. So before wow, when we, we took a picture down there on the main uh -huh. gate, that is Banyan. Uh -huh. One fam. Uh -huh. Because Banyamina with the root from the brain coming down, yeah, the ficus banyamina, holy tree for Hinduism here. And then here is body tree, the same ficus. 
that is ficus banyamina this is ficus religiosa the I people see. call it body indian people call it uh, people tree interesting about nice person actually uh -huh. yeah he's become good leader he's successful so he have a lot of friend he protect the from the all casta because mm -hmm. in buddhism hinduism they have brahmana mm -hmm. kastriya, sudra even to sudra people lower uh -huh. people poor people and then when someone success not everybody behind is happy uh -huh. other people like jealous uh -huh. so because of jealousy so they're making gossip you see they talking uh -huh. but to the children to hate them oh that's good interesting and then so all the story like here this is telling about like a big party yeah with a traditional dance uh -huh. During the dancing, because in Buddhism actually, food enough, work enough, rest enough, not over. Uh -huh. But here the people they make over. Uh -huh. Yeah, so they eat over. Could be a wine, could be marijuana, uh -huh. and make them drunk. Uh -huh. This is telling about like big family and small family. Like more children and two children. Because mm. people believe on the time. More children are more fortune. This is reasonable because they work as agriculture, they need to get to work. Mm -hmm. But what happened when they have many children but the food not enough? You see a baby asking not to the mother? Uh -huh. Because he saw the brother getting food. Uh -huh. And the brother sits on baking, make them like fighting. Mm. This is telling look nice when the two children uh -huh. yeah, happy, this more flower, everybody happy already. So have more children it's yeah, telling uh -huh. and then yeah they're giving charity every day uh -huh. and then a monk coming also very religious person uh -huh. so morally have inside 160 panel all around uh -huh. but mostly covered by hidden stone oh so at the time the second king worried the condition of this uh -huh. temple too big too high will be sliding and then they make extra stone to support it, to protect it. Mm. Before they put the stone, this is all they protect with the clay. Okay. So that when we open a still good condition, if we compare with the upper part, the damage because of the water, because of the weather. So this is very well protected. Yeah. So originally on the concept, this is we are on the first level. First level. First part, we call it Kama Datu, Wall of Desire. Uh -huh. So the story that I'm about this. Oh, I see. So this one, this is, they make it later. So physically, this one is first level physically. Oh, physically. This is second level. Uh -huh, but uh -huh. this is not part of the philosophy uh -huh. because they make it later. But it's original. Gotcha. This is original, but they make it later. Don't, they don't have on the master plan. Right? Perfect. Okay. In 1890, when the Dutch they took it out, they took a picture documented by the Dutch about the bottom part. Uh -huh. And all the pictures still uh, I keep in Leiden University in Holland about negative, uh, negative film. But the picture already sent to Indonesia in 1990. Okay. 1890, they took, they documented. 1990, sent to Indonesia. Gotcha. And so the stupa, what is, what is a stupa? The stupa is a symbol for Buddhism. Uh huh. They need to work keeping the relic or the ash of holy people. Mm. Yeah, so because for this temple, you use it for like study center, the people going up and going down. So that's why they don't put any relic inside the stupa. They change with Buddha statue. Okay. Yeah, they change. When you go to Thailand, you find relic, the ash of uh -huh. the bagan, yeah? uh -huh. like Sri Lanka, the teacher, uh, the nail of Buddha. But usually stupas are empty, right? Yeah. So here's another side of the temple. Wow, look at this. The heart of Indonesian Buddhism. So that's why they make big steps, not because Indonesian Jawa is taller than European. Mm -hmm. The meaning of the step, when you go up to Mewa, you're not allowed to look up. Oh, you're not allowed to look to up? Look, uh, yeah, you have oh. to look down. Oh. You have to respect. Ah, I see. Yeah? So When you look up, that means you want you are curious about it. You want to go up as, as soon as possible. Uh -huh. When you go up directly, you are like dog racing. Uh, really? <laughs> tired. When the people are tired, it's uh, difficult to control this. Uh, they say bad words. Mm -hmm. Because when you go up there, too many people, too hot, and so on, and then you got nothing. According to Buddhism philosophy, when you face this temple from main gate, walk around like we're doing. And then go up to the next level. Mm -hmm. You have to control your desire. Uh -huh. And then you learn about the way of life, how to control desire. And then you go up around, you go up. Until the top, you spend two, three, four hours, you don't feel it tired. You don't mm -hmm. feel hot. Because, because you, you learn about the way of life. Mm -hmm. and then finally, you get the nirvana. Where you get a wow, amazing, wonderful. You, that you will see everything you never seen.
I see. This is like textbook. Yeah. Just like to learn step by step. Step by step. Pitch by pitch. Like book. Wow, that's so, so interesting. They teach you how to control desire. Uh-huh. So even though it's closed, from this angle, we actually get a look at the very highest levels. Seven, eight, and nine. As you can see on the top there, this is what Jamal was saying is there's these stupas that are perforated and inside sits the Buddha and that's the only place in the world where this is found where you have a Buddha sitting inside a stupa like that and then in the center there that's the main stupa now something interesting about this main stupa is supposedly in the end of 19th centuries the Dutch actually sort of peeked in there to see what's in there but the interesting and mysterious thing is that they never reported what they found apparently there is a a room in the center sort of right there right in the center and that that is hollow now but there's no entrance the apparent en entrance to it but there's nothing inside and then on, on top of the hollow room right there there's another little cavity and that usually would uh, contain the relics um, usually the big temples would contain a little relic of Buddha himself the historical Buddha and so um, so Dutch entered there they maybe found something maybe not however they never reported it so till this day it stays a mystery what was in there because right now there's nothing left there anymore so hey guys this is awesome so we are here in Borobudur um, I didn't have a chance to make too many videos of myself before because uh, Jamal was giving us a fantastic tour telling us about the temple and its history how it was created and what it represents unfortunately because of COVID um, the temple is closed to, to for ascension so you can't go up to the very top which you usually can and the, and the reason is um, you know, after COVID, they would have to treat rooms and walkways with special chemicals because they're so narrow. And because they want to preserve the stone, uh, they just close the place down so they don't have to chemically treat it every time you go up there. But um, what a place to be. Like, think about this. This is the largest Buddhist temple in the world. There's, there's, um, there's uh, uh, as a single building. So there are, there are larger temples um, that, that sort of take into account all of the different buildings and the territory of the temple but as a single Buddhist temple this is single-handedly the largest one in the whole wide world and it is so unique because because it, it combines Hinduism with Buddhism with traditional uh, Indonesian culture so it is said that um, sort of the the shape of this how, it, how it's pyramidical is uh, sort of resembling what um, um, pre, pre, uh, prehistoric, um, pre-Buddhist and Hinduist um, Indonesian culture would build their shrines as. Uh, they would venerate their ancestors and they would usually build a pyramid-sized uh, uh, shrines. And so, so this combines so many cultures, Buddhism, Hinduism, and then also traditional Indonesian um, mythology so this is this is fantastic you know um, it is kind of interesting that what, what Jamal was saying earlier there's different layers to to this so the lower layer is um, level of desire this is sort of where most people dwell you're addicted to your desire you're you're ruled by it guided by it right and you can't break away um, and that's kind of where we work walking today unfortunately that's the um, that's the part that is that's the only part that is open and you know um, so the next part is the f uh, world of the forms so that's when you let go of your desires you start to see life sort of for what it is you're on your way to enlightenment and you can see life for what it is sort of without um, being chained to a desire but next uh, on the very top and that part is circular this these parts are sort of a square formation but the the last three levels are circles that's where the the main stupas are placed 
uh, perforated stupas, and that is the world of formlessness. Uh, formlessness. So that is where you perceive reality without even forms. You just sort of see it for the concept of reality, right? The the highest level of understanding of reality, and that is where you reach nirvana. That is sort of Buddha level understanding of reality. So you know when we came here, when they told us. Um, you know, uh, the place is closed, you can't go up. You know, after traveling here from all across Canada, specifically to this place to see it, to say the least, I was not impressed and I was, well, I wasn't visibly angry, but I was annoyed with the thing and um, it just, it just seemed like a very irritating thing to deal with, especially with COVID basically being gone, but whatever, you know, it, 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 it borned, feelings of um, anxiety and sort of anger in me but you know but now being here it's so sort of symbolical because we're walking around the level of desire that's where most people are and only by conquering those conquering your um, uh, feelings of uh, carving for pleasure and and craving sorry craving for pleasure and craving for things will you ascend to the next level so perhaps you know life works in mysterious ways and perhaps this is a lesson that we needed to learn today that sometimes no matter how much you want to go up to the top uh, to do that you have to go through levels of development personal development and uh, spiritual development and perhaps today that lesson was yes this is the only part you can see but for maybe for a reason that you have to see beyond that, be content with things you can attain and let go of your desires, in this case, to go up to the, to the stupas level and uh, find beauty and, uh, and, and, be, and find fulfillment with what you have. So that's the lesson I'm gonna take away from today. And I'm kind of actually happy that it worked out the way it did. Okay guys, so from this side, we can see the, the meditating Buddha. Let me just zoom in. So this is the Buddha in the position that indicates that he's meditating. So that would celebrate that part. As you can see, some of the heads are missing, like Jamal said, right? Due to, to a nature causes and some, some were looted and are found in private collection today. Total three kilometers length, wow. So this is, guys, this is the, uh, the really, really F's describing the life of the historical Buddha. So you can see this is, this is his, uh, this is his journey from being a sort of a, simple human well not never simple but a, what appeared to be a human being to becoming the enlightened one becoming buddha i'll tell you a little bit more about it in a short while but i just wanted to show you so where you can find it here on the on the barbadour it's this line right here as i understand and then this one also they cut the stone from medium uh -huh. small and big so and then they have they cut the stone like tea like tea, mm -hmm. but depend on the stone they have. One, two, three, mm -hmm. and then they start cutting out the stone like this. Oh. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Uh-huh. From there, and then they bring it here, and then they bring up to the temple when they build, they, 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 they use to cut out the space. So when they want to find the, how to write down. When you find the stone like this size, uh -huh. how they lock it, this is the same size, yeah? Uh -huh. And then they make lock, we call it dovetail system like this. Oh. They make hole. And then they cut the stone the same size like that, they put it in the middle so we cannot turn around. Ah. So they, and that's how they lock, like Tetris. interlock the... Yeah, interlocking system. I see. They lock each other. Interesting. All right, so we, we're about to feed an elephant. This is a 40-year-old girl. 
Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. Oh wow, there's more. <laughs> Hey. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh. I give it. I give you one bear. And how do I? Oh. Okay. Okay. Hey, buddy. Okay. Do you wanna? Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my god, thank you very much. Hey girl. Hey girl. There you are. Let, oh, oh, you let me to make your video? Oh, sh oh you, sure. You give one by sure. one. Okay. Okay, give one by one. Yes, come closer, come closer. Uh -huh. And then give to the mouth, give to the mouth. Huh? Huh? Kill it, Devon. You keep carrot. You keep carrot. Okay, yeah. You just do like that, like this. Oh. You. You do oh. it like this. Oh, like that. Uh. Yeah. Oh, my. My, give more. And look at here, you look at here. Turn around here. You just come stand uh, closer. Okay. I see the, the, when the volcano eruption, uh -huh. when I bring the group with the info sunrise store, when sunrise you have to wake up early. Uh -huh. We wake up in the hotel 3 a.m. Uh -huh. and then we drive here. Uh, like 4 a.m. we go up. But before we go, not go up directly, we walk around every level, we call it Pradakshina. And then like, Five, five o'clock. We are already on the top on the level seven or level eight. This is the best spot. Uh -huh. And then I saw it, the the blue sky. I don't actually. I know that the volcano is very active, going to eruption. Uh -huh. We heard, but we don't know when. And then when we are there, I saw it smoking. When I saw smoking, it's very nice. All my group taking a picture because very nice. So very clear. Uh -huh. Sometimes we see that smoking rolling down. Uh -huh. That means fire when duck time is uh -huh. like fire. And two days before, I bring my group to the hill. You yeah. see the lava rolling down from the top. Wow! But I don't predict it that the volcano going to big eruption like uh -huh. that. And then when I bring the group to Borobudur in the early morning, blew up, boom, like wow. that. And then my tourists ask me. What is that, Jama? Is that? <laughs> that is volcano eruption. But actually, I don't know that the volcano eruption. I just said that volcano yeah. eruption. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yes. And then we announced it that everybody had to go down. The people said, no, 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 no. This is first time in my life. I want to see that. He said. And you're like, no, no, no. no, no, no. I have to go down. And that finally we feel warm because the ash uh -huh. on the, our skin. So you feel wow. something. Yeah, this is dangerous. Let's go down. And then we get down. And do fire start all around? Yeah, when fire rolling down like that. And we see like, uh, what, you're like... Uh, the fire wow coming out when it blew up like this because the material coming out uh -huh. with the like fire uh -huh. brum, brum, brum. and which mountain is that merapi 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 is the most active volcano on the world wow and then after merapi i think etna italia uh-huh and then after etna i think mayan wow mayan in philippines huh is it all right guys and now walking into museum of parapador hey guys so just like jamal was saying you know all the all the artifacts that are found and 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 about which historians are not sure where they should be placed are put in the museum so here you can see the the body of the buddha and 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 you can see various stones and the historians don't really know where they're supposed to go and because it is a religious place i don't want to uh, intrude on it uh, to prevent that risk of um fixing something that shouldn't be fixed or placing something where it shouldn't be they just leave them here until they have proof that you know like for example this buddha uh that 
that, you know, this Buddha belongs in a very specific place in a Borobudur temple. And they look at the cracks and how, how on the cracks on the monument and the cracks on the, on the temple. And if they match, then they will actually do the repairs. But if they don't, they keep them here. Okay. This is the Kala when I explained you on the temple. Ah. Yeah, all Javanese buildings have Kala. Kala, the they time. To remind us. About the time. Yeah. I see, I see. Uh, we call it Gamelan. Okay. Gamelan is Javanese instrument. Uh -huh. So long time ago, we already have a uh, mining actually. Uh -huh. The technology of mining. Uh -huh. Because European on that, you use string, guitar. Uh -huh. And then the Middle East, they have uh, the leather of animal, drum. Uh -huh. But this is already a brass. This is Dore Mi Fa Sol La Si Do. Oh. oh, so there is a, a whole of things here. That this is actually original is bamboo. Oh, but, this is bamboo, okay. This is not used the bamboo, but the big model. This is drum, uh -huh. that is gong, uh -huh. that is bonang, uh -huh. so the gong. So when you go to Sultan Palace, uh, Yogyakarta, uh -huh. Sultan Palace on the Saturday, they have uh, their play with the dancing. This music. Yeah, and uh -huh. also in Sunday with the puppet show, the Wayang Kulit. This uh, Javanese house, traditional house, we call it Joglu. Ah, yeah, huh. the Joglu house. That is all the material is thick. Yeah, this is thick. This uh -huh. is very expensive. This, this is, is more expensive than concrete building. Really? This is very old, very old tree. More than 60 years for one tree we cut. The big like this, more than 60 years old. That's wow. It. And, and so would traditional house be open like this? Yes, we open like this. So uh -huh. that this year we call it Lumbung. Uh -huh. Lumbung, they say to store the result from plantation. Uh -huh. And then the second juglu there. Uh -huh. yeah, would, so, pe would people live in the open like this? No, or, no, no, no. This is for, for family room. Mm. That is for gathering, gathering kind of. Mm -hmm. gathering. Because the Javanese Hinduism, uh -huh. they always invite the neck board come, pray together, uh -huh. eat together. So that way open building oh, like see. this. And then they have uh, the room there, the, that is sleeping room. And uh -huh. then behind, it's very far away there, uh -huh. uh, there's a kitchen. Oh, I see, uh, I see. So this is the concept of Javanese merchant house. Merchant house, so like a little, like a little settlement. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, cool. Well, they always have gamelan. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh. But some gamelan make from wood. Oh, some are from wood. Okay. Jamal, you're a musician. <laughs> Interesting. Oh. No, no, like this, like this. You like this. Oh, like this? Yeah. Ah. Oh, okay. Ah. It's a very nice sound. Wow. So, in 700. About the um, uh, uh, instrument, uh -huh. you use guitar, uh -huh. the string. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Middle East have a uh, drum. Oh, okay. But Java already have mining about drums. Oh, I so see. So that is technology the highest, highest technology. Wow, it's beautiful. It's so this is I think not wonder if they build Borobudur mm -hmm. because they know technology about uh, so mining already. Before European understanding. And how did they know this? Where did? Yeah, so that's why. Yeah, <laughs> the... this is big question. How uh -huh. do they know? Yeah, how do they know? Yeah, because on the world they don't have yet mining about. No, it. and how? Do you know how? No, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Mystery. Mystery. I see. Interesting. So, is the culture Javanese culture? Is that? Um, is it? Was it born here in Java? Yes, yes. Or is it like? Um, no, no. No, Java. so uh, native Java, to the. According okay. to the history man that they said. 
this is uh, the Javanese uh, clan. Mm -hmm. This is oldest all in in Asia. Ah, yeah, oldest actually, in Asia. No, 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 Asian, Asian, ah, Asia, yeah. Asia. Oh, Asia. Malay, uh, 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 uh -huh. Not Asia. Asia is uh, uh, Egypt. Of yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Syria, old, uh, before see. before Christ. I see. This is starting on the beginning of centuries. Okay, guys. So, uh, oh my, uh, walking through the market here, in Bur Burdur, you sort of get the authentic experience of the sales guys. It's not easy to to get away. That's for sure. So, uh, you know, but that's all right. Okay, we're on. A, we are on the lookout for a for a a uh, souvenir, but I just can't. I just can't find the right one. I want to buy a Buddha from Barabadur, but also I want to buy a stupa because it's a, a unique one. Only in this part, only in this temple, is a Buddha placed inside the stupa. So it'd be very nice to have a souvenir like that. One second, let's see what we found. No, 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 thank you, sir. All right, guys. No. Thank you. Well, this was uh, quite an interesting. No, no, thank you. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, this is a. Uh, it's pretty intense because you don't want to be rude, but at the same time, a simple no doesn't result in anything. So, so you sort of just gotta keep on walking. Without making too much eye contact. No, thank you, sir. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. No, no, sir. No, no, thank you, thank you. It's okay, thank you. Yeah, so I know, I know, but like, uh, we're good, we're good. Thank you, sir. Okay, so we're we're escaping from the shopping district. We actually got a really nice souvenir. A little uh, model of a stupa with a Buddha inside of it. So, Adi, Adi hi, hi, ah, I'm good. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Only 50, I'm, I'm good, thank you, Adi. Thank you, thank you. No, 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 we're good. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Adi. 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 Sorry, Adi.